Welcome back to another video. I've got my daily in today, uh, the Mark V Fiesta. It's not a ZTEC S or anything, but the paintwork on it's really old. Um, the car's nearly 20 years old now, and it's got so many scratches on it. So when I was at Mod Nats yesterday, I got chatting to a couple of blokes about detailing, and I picked up some products. I've got this Poor Boys product. It's like a swirl remover. Uh, you can use it like handle machine, but my dad's got a machine polisher, so we're gonna use that. And also picked up two pads to do it with. But before um, I start detailing the car, I need to clay bar it and glue and tar it to get like any imperfections out. So today I'm gonna be focusing just on the bonnet. Um, this is just a trial. I've already taken the two jet washer jets out. They're easy. Some of you might be thinking, why are you detailing it for? It looks really shiny, looks really good. Um, but no it isn't. <laughs> right, I've got the flash on now and I'm gonna go closer to the paintwork. As you can see, it has got so many swirls. It's like unbelievable. The fact that this car's 20 years old nearly, um, I don't think it's been detailed in its life, so it's about time I had one. Also, another little thing I'm hoping to correct today is this. Um, I've got some quite deep scratches which were caused by me the other day. <laughs> I tried putting roof racks on my car. Um, they looked all right. I'd want to put my bike on them eventually, but one of them slipped off, ran all the way down the wi window, onto the bonnet, onto the floor. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty pissed off. So I'm hoping to get these marks out, out as well. What I've already done is wash the car. So now I'm gonna put glue and tar it, clay bar it, and then I'll get on with the machine polishing. Right, I've chopped off about a quarter of it, and just gonna put it in some warm water now um, to make it more uh, flexible. After about a minute or so, you can uh, then make it into a little ball. It's softer to use and pretty much ready to use on the car. This is the stuff I'm gonna be using alongside the clay bar. This is all Smart's one, but you can pick up any other make really. And all it does is gives you a bit of lubricant when using a clay bar on the car. Right, so all I'm gonna do is just spray it on. Make sure you keep it wet all the time. Get the clay bar. Go over it straight lines. You can feel it picking up the dirt as you go along. Alright, so I've just done this top bit and and that's all the contaminants there. So all we want to do now is fold it over and you can start getting Right, this is a clay bar I was using for the whole of the bonnet. As you can see, all that dirt that's come off it. Um, I also found it useful if you if you make it into like a ball and then flatten it down. It's really useful um, to use it like that. What I do now is sponge this off um, and just clean it all off. Right, I've just cleaned the bonnet off. All I used was just a bit of water um, and then a clean microfiber. This is a machine I've got. Um, I'm gonna put a link in, link in the description below to it. Um, I've got this pad. All it does is just, that's Velcro, so it just sticks to it. Um, machine has settings at the, at the back, how fast it can go. It's got like one to, one to six. Um, got this handle on it. You can change it for this one, but I'm just gonna use how it's set up, how my dad used it last. As I said before, this is the cutting compound that was recommended yesterday, so we're going to use this. I'll show you how to use it in a sec. Right, I'm just going to put this pad on. There it 
is. Well, I'm going to try and get this in the middle. There you go, that's all on now. Obviously, it's velcroed on, so. Um, and obviously, make sure you don't touch the floor now because you'll be knackered. When using a machine polisher, make sure you put the cable over your shoulder so it doesn't go and scratch them on the uh, surface you're going to be cleaning. Right, so I'm just putting five blobs on it. Then I'm going to work in this top section. So, over my shoulder. What oh, makes it this? Rob. Rob. Like that. Just gonna buff this off and see what it looks like. <laughs> right, it's looking better now. Um, still got a few deep scratches in it, but much better than what it was. I'm now going to go ahead and do the rest of this side and then you can see the difference. I've now finished machine polishing uh, this side. This is a side that hasn't been touched at all. So I'm now going to take off uh, the bit of masking tape and see the difference. Right, I can already see it's a big difference, but we'll be able to see now what the actual difference is. Right, well, I'm really happy with this. So this is a side that's been detailed, and you'll be able to see the line change there, look. So these are all the deep scratches and I managed to get them off on the side that I detailed but you can see the line again there. So detailed side, non-detailed side. Bonnet's now finished and I'm so happy with the results. Um, couldn't have asked for any better really. Good thing about the polisher is you can go back over stuff if you don't think it looks right. So down here I've got all them spec specs are just polished. Um, I've got one scratch there and two there. Uh, these are deeper, so I'm going to try and focus and work on this area now and see if I can get them to fade off a little bit. This poor boy stuff that I've got is two, and 2.5 is the harshest you could get, so I could go and get 2.5 now, and they'll probably come out pretty quick. Um, but all I'm going to do is go back over it with this, um, maybe, maybe two more times, um, and see what the difference is. If you didn't get what I was saying earlier about applying the compound, then I'm just going to show you again. Um, so for these three scratches, all I'm going to do is put two little blobs on my disc like that. As you can see, my disc is pretty saturated right at the moment, but um, yeah, it's all right. It's not, it's not too bad. Remember, number one rule: always keep the cable over your shoulder so it doesn't drag on the bodywork that you're cleaning. Right, so got got me two blobs. I've got that little bit of masking tape just to tell me where the scratches are. So I'm gonna 
put it on a little bit first. Adjust this to the number one setting, so it's nice and slow. And all you want to do with the number one setting is just to get the compound down and get it all around the area that you're going to be working with. Right, so as you can see, it's all fairly on there now. So bang it up to number six. So now it's on number six, you want to be a, a lot slower and take your time on the area that you're focusing on. So I'm going to go nice and slow and try and get these scratches out. As you can see, the scratches are still there, but they've been dulled down quite a lot, and from a distance, it, it really isn't going to be noticeable. One thing to note, though, um, when you're working with this polish, you're, you're going to get loads of little dry bits coming off, so make sure you always keep, your, keep where you're working clean, because otherwise that could then cause more scratches. All the bonnet's now done. What I need to do is seal it. I've already done half the bonnet, but... Um, this is a wax I'm using. It's one my dad used a little while ago, so I thought I'd just give it a go, might as well. Um, it says it's really good, so. Right, applying wax isn't that hard at all. So what you got is your foam applicator. Dip it in there. Wax is like hard, so I've got quite a lot on there. Whack it on there. And what you wanna do, this is the only time you wanna actually make swirls on the car. You want to just go around like that, make swells. I've got quite a lot in there, so. But I've waxed the last third, and what you want to do is just wait until it goes a bit white and sort of nearly dries up, then get a brand new microfiber and buff it off. For people wondering as well, thinking, why are you putting more stuff on it? You don't need to. Well, you do, because what I've just done is I've compounded the paintwork. Um, so that means I've taken like a, la a layer off of it, um, and now it's not protected. So putting the wax on protects the paint. Well, before I finish this video, I just want to sort of say, like, I'm not a detailer on it or anything. I'm just having a go. Because um, someone, like, a couple of weeks ago, like, really put me off detailing. was like, oh, don't do detailing if you don't know nothing about it. Oh, man, 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 you might fuck up your car. Um, and yeah, that is true, you could knack your car, but I went to Modified Nationals uh, yesterday, Saturday, and spoke to a couple of guys, and they sort of informed me about the process and stuff, and I learned like, quite a bit from just talking to people. I'm only saying this because I know like some people might, might put in the comments like, oh, you've done that wrong, you've done this wrong. I'm still learning, so tell me like what I can do better next time and that. Um, I'm just going off experience from my dad. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a video probably of doing the whole car, but you already know the process I'm doing So it's just me doing that to the whole car and also for people that watch the mark 2 fiesta project I'm gonna be doing detail into that and hopefully get the paintwork glossy like this because that's really flat All the links for the products used will be in the description below so go check them out I'm also gonna put a link to the guy that helped me yesterday at Mod, Mod Nats. He weren't trying to con me or anything, he was just telling me stuff. He weren't trying to sell it to me. He was just uh, letting me know and it's worked brilliantly. I'm gonna put a link in the description um, for his site. So if you wanna get any stuff, then get it off there, he's all right. But yeah, I hope you guys sort of enjoyed this sort of video. I really enjoyed making it and I'm really happy with the outcome. If you haven't already, give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel because there's a lot more content to come from this channel. For people wondering about where the Mark II is, um, I'm still trying to get bits for that. I'm still trying to sort videos out and make a schedule. So that'll be back soon.
and also um, in the process of getting a garage for it so there'll be a lot more videos because I'm having to switch around cars in my garage at home at the moment to make videos but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one